Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Nort, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be teaching you guys 10 things you didn't know about GTA 5. I've got some pretty interesting facts to cover, also some tricks, some tips, some secrets as well, and just things which you guys may not have really found out, discovered, or been told about. As always, if we do teach you something new in this episode, please don't leave it out smashing that like button, as it would be very much appreciated. Let's try and reach that goal of 1,000 likes. That'll be insane if we do hit that, guys. But without wasting any more time, let's get straight into things. Okay, so first up, I'm going to be showcasing something which I think you guys are going to find very interesting. And this was discovered by a friend of mine called Music Videot, who was kind enough to let me use his gameplay in this video. If you guys want to go and check him out, I will leave a link to him in the description below. But he discovered something about the GTA Online servers, which no one else has discovered. And it's really, really cool. It's pretty interesting. I didn't expect this at all. But it just shows a bit of behind the scenes with GTA Online. So what he did is he loaded up Grand Theft Auto Online on his PlayStation 4 and his Xbox One and he took a look at the time in game and this is the exact time which you guys can see here 3.17 in the morning and of course it's still going up every second or so. He switches over to his Xbox One however and on his Xbox One it is the exact same time. Now it's almost 3.30 in the morning. This is something which many players didn't know about and there's also sites online as well which show you the in-game time. So GTA Online is the exact same time on all consoles which is crazy and it's unbelievable to think that they can do this on just one platform but to have the same time on every single platform is just insane. So next up, I'm going to be showcasing something you can do with all three GTA 5 characters, Michael, Trevor, and Franklin. And if you pay attention enough, you'll notice that the sun is different for each character. For Michael, the sun is flared loads. You can see the flare across the screen. For Franklin, the sun isn't as flared, but it's still a tiny bit flared. For Trevor, the sun is not flared at all. And here is a comparison of all three suns from all three characters. This was taken at 6.30 in the afternoon. I used mods to freeze the time, and this was done in the exact same location as well. And it's just interesting to see exactly how the characters perceive different things in GTA 5. And maybe this can help you guys in mystery hunting, because some characters can see things differently to others, which is pretty interesting to know. And next up, did you know that Rockstar Games constantly watermark loads of insignificant but pretty eyesoring objects with their logo? It's something which not many players notice because the stuff they watermark isn't really the things you would look at, but they're still pretty easy to find, such as presents under a Christmas tree. If you take a look at the ribbons on these presents, they will have the Rockstar Games logo on. But just pay attention next time because Rockstar reference so many things according to their company in the game in the most insignificant and most unseen areas of the map so just pay attention next time and you might find a few easter eggs and crumbs left by Rockstar Games which is pretty cool. And also, to no surprise, Grand Theft Auto V is still making Rockstar Games and Take-Two Interactive a bucket load of money. In fact, if an A-list game was just released today, Grand Theft Auto V would still give it a run for its money, given the amount of money it's still generating every single month. And this was showcased in a fiscal quarterly report which Take-Two Interactive gives their shareholders. It's a public report they have to do every single three months. And Grand Theft Auto V is one of the only games which is considered in this rare exception that over over three years, it is growing and growing month by month, making more and more money for Take-Two Interactive. In fact, in their previous financial reports, Grand Theft Auto V is still making over $100 million every single month, and it's been out for three years, which is just crazy, or almost three years, give or take a few days. So this is insane to see exactly how well GTA V is still thriving, and I'm just amazed and mind blown about how much money this game still generates for Take-Two Interactive, and it is a rare exception in the gaming industry, but it's still pretty crazy to see that this game is still making hundreds of millions of dollars every single month. Okay, so next up, I'm going to be showcasing a really easy trick in GTA Online. This will allow you to constantly run without having to smash the hotkey to run, such as the X button on PlayStation or the A button on Xbox. This will just allow you to keep running and you won't have to smash any buttons. So all you're going to want to do is simply smash the X button for about two or three seconds. And once your character is now sprinting, you're then going to want to hold up the weapon wheel. And whilst you're doing this, the character won't go as fast as sprinting, but it will still go faster 
than if you were to hold down the hotkey to run, which of course will allow you to jog in GTA Online. But this trick will just allow you to put your thumb to rest and all you have to do is hold up the weapon wheel and it can get you from point A to point B a lot faster and without as much stress on your thumb. So if you guys are interested in doing this trick, it's a great little GTA 5 hack you can do, which will allow you to put your thumb to rest. And like I said, all you're going to want to do is start running and hold up your weapon wheel. And next up, this is something which I really, really like, and it's when members of the community create games you can do around GTA Online. If you guys go over to GTA Forums, I'll leave a link to the site in the description below, you will find a variety of pretty cool and popular games made up by members in the community. One game is such as Find This NPC, in which they take a snapmatic photo of a random NPC on the streets, and you guys have to go out and find him and send the photo back. Another one is Find My Brothers and Sisters, in which they basically showcase their character and if someone else has created their same online character with the same parents they send their photo back of their character and there's other ones with NPC elimination game where people put a hit on a random NPC just walking around the map when you guys find that NPC you shoot them and you take a snapmatic and you send it back there's loads and loads of really creative games and I think you guys will love them it's like another community within the community so if you guys want to go and check them out I will leave a link in the description below to some of the awesome games you guys can play and this next one is more for the modding community of GTA Online. In fact, I'm pretty sure if you guys are a pro modder, or if you do like creating mods, you would have probably heard this story. It was one of the craziest stories in the gaming industry, and for those of you guys who didn't know, Take-Two Interactive, the parent company of Rockstar Games, allegedly sent private investigators to a developer working on the 5M mod. This was an extremely successful mod which had to be closed down for obvious reasons, after Take-Two Interactive essentially sent private investigators over, claiming that this mod opens up a loophole for piracy and many other things, and basically threatened this guy with a ton of legal action if he were to continue. So of course he had to abandon ship on the 5M mods, and to this day the mod has not yet been relaunched, and this isn't an unusual thing in the gaming industry. I have heard many stories of modders receiving cease and desists in which they cannot leak information anymore, or many modders receiving cease and desists in which they can't continue activities in modding the game or something like that but actually having private investigators coming to your house and personally face-to-face -face threatening you with legal action, that is something I have not heard before. So it is crazy to see the lengths Take-Two Interactive go through just to shut down a modder, which is just insane. Speaking about legal action, the next thing we're going to take a look at is former boss of Rockstar North, who essentially developed and created Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto 4 and many other games in the Grand Theft Auto franchise. He worked with Rockstar Games and Rockstar North for over a decade, and this man was called Leslie Benzies. He was the main man behind the Grand Theft Auto 5 story mode, he put the most effort into Grand Theft Auto 5, and he is what we would call the main man behind this game. Without Leslie Benzies, GTA 5 probably wouldn't be as successful as it is today. Well, in 2014, when Leslie Benzies was persuaded to take a holiday, paid leave, etc., Leslie Benzies could not refuse that offer, so he went on holiday for about a year. But when he came back, every single person he was associated with, as well as himself, were all fired from Rockstar North, which is crazy to see because he was the boss at Rockstar North for over a decade, and he is one of the main reasons the Grand Theft Auto franchise is as successful and big as it is, but it seems like once the game was released, he was just fired and departed from the team. There's been loads and loads of conspiracies revolving around his departure, unfortunately we do not know exactly why he was fired, but what we do know is that he is suing Take-Two Interactive for $150 million, and this lawsuit is still ongoing, so I will update you guys on the result for that lawsuit when it falls through. So we all know Rockstar Games love their easter eggs. There's been tons of easter eggs discovered in GTA 5, but one thing which struck my eye the most is that Rockstar Games actually hide celebrities as NPCs in the GTA franchise. In fact, as you can see here, we have Morgan Freeman hidden as the barber in GTA San Andreas. This, of course, was Morgan Freeman's father who actually worked as a barber. We've seen Will Smith, we've seen Tupac, and many other celebrities roaming around the Grand Theft Auto series just as random NPCs. 
to this day, members of the community are still searching the streets of Los Santos to find exactly which celebrities Rockstar Games have added in, but of course it is impossible to predict the exact spawn location of these NPCs, so it's more something you have to just look out for when you're driving around Los Santos instead of something you have to go and find. But if you guys come across any celebrities or celebrity lookalikes around GTA 5, feel free to tweet me them at 0.4. I will leave my Twitter link in the description below. And last but not least, we're going to be taking a look into Grand Theft Auto Online DLC. Because for those of you guys who don't know, Rockstar Games don't just create DLC a month before it comes out. Rockstar Games create DLCs years before they are released, which shows exactly how much work and planning Rockstar Games put into their DLC content. In fact, for many of you guys who watched any of the GTA 5 trailers, you would have spotted DLC content which was not added in the game at the time, but was later released in future DLCs. For example, the Dodo seaplane was showcased in the trailer and many other vehicles as well. But what you guys don't know is that Rockstar Games still have items and vehicles which were created back in 2013 when the game was released still hidden away in the game files today. And these vehicles will of course be introduced into GTA Online at some point in the future with another DLC. Unfortunately it's impossible to tell when Rockstar decide to add these vehicles in the game but it's still crazy to think exactly how much planning goes into their DLCs, considering they make some of the items for it years in advance. Anyway guys, unfortunately that is all i got time for today. Of course, if you guys did learn something new in this episode, please don't leave without smashing that like button because it would be very much appreciated. And of course, if you guys are new here, why not subscribe to my channel? All you got to do is click the red button below, click that subscribe button so you won't miss out on any more GTA 5 content every single day. Anyway guys, my name is Nort, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.